Someone cue the X-Men theme, because look what just arrived. Pow, welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews as always. My name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And today, amongst all of the Avengers Endgame hype, I had a parcel arrive. Well, I went and collected the parcel because I wasn't in. But it is this big box of Marvel Legends. And as I've already teased, it is, of course, the X-Men Marvel Legends Caliban Builder Figure Wave. Now, the X-Men Wave is always one people look forward to getting every year as it's always comic book characters and they're filling some much needed gaps in our X-Men collections and displays. And uh, this wave is no exception as it has some of my favourite characters. So if you don't know the concept of my unboxing videos, all I'm doing is taking boxes out of a bigger box and sort of letting you know what I'm going to be reviewing on the channel and giving you my initial thoughts. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of the next two X-Men Marvel Legends waves coming out in 2019. So stick around. But first, let's have a quick look at these. And uh, let's start off with Jubilee. This one is very nostalgic to me as my first introduction with, to the X-Men was through the animated series. And then I went back and read the comics. And Jubilee was like one of the main characters of the first episode. So that's always stayed with me. I never had the builder figure from the first X-Men wave as well. But this look, I prefer this is my uh, Jubilee. Very happy to add her to the collection finally. Another one of my favourite characters is Hank McCoy the Beast. I have the Toy Biz Beast which still holds up today and there is a full review of that Toy Biz Beast on my channel somewhere. Look for Rewind Reviews playlist. But uh, does this one hold up? Does this one stand up? Is this one going to replace the old one? We shall find out. Hasbro, let's see how well you've done. Stick around and I'll be reviewing Beast on the channel very soon. Another one of my favourite characters. I know I'm saying that for them all but it is the occasion sensation that is Gambit with his bow staff and some effects. Really like this guy, I hope this figure don't disappoint. It's gonna be reunited with his wife on the shelf that is Rogue. Very happy to finally have Gambit for my collection. Another character that reminds me of the animated show, even though he's been around way longer than that. It is Thorge, this Native American that was, I think he was like married to, to uh, Mystique or, or Storm or someone. But uh, yeah, Thorge, not a massively exciting figure, but he is a genius sort of engineer, inventor guy. And he, uh, yeah, he's uh, been around the X-Men for a while and it's a figure of a character I don't have. So who am I to complain? Moving on to another obscure character, it is Skullbuster of the Reavers. Now the Reavers were sort of featured in Logan recently and they're sort of cyborgs um, from Australia. But um, yeah, we've got an alternative head so we can make a Reese so you could have two of these if you buy another one. Uh, maybe we'll get more characters of the Reavers as I know the people at Hasbro really like them. But yeah, he's looking pretty good, big beefy figure. So yeah, Skullbuster. Another Wolverine, but this one is, of course, the original, the OG, it is Weapon X. This is a very important storyline in the whole X-Men lore because it is how Wolverine got his adamantium claws. And, uh, yeah, go and read this storyline if you haven't. Weapon X, very happy to add him to my collection um, as it is a much different look compared to some of my other Wolverines. And last but by no means least... We have Blink. Really like the look of this character and this is one that really stands out in person. I don't know why, but that purple or pink skin really pops. Like her effects as well. We've not seen them before. So very happy to add Blink to the collection. And of course, it is part of the Caliban builder figure. And don't think of Stephen Merchant from Logan Caliban. Think of a big, beefy, fangs and claws Caliban when he was deaf with Apocalypse. So I'll explain all of that in my Who Is He segment, but there are going to be full reviews of all of those figures on the channel very soon and look forward to opening them. So as I said, I'm going to be breaking down the next X-Men wave. So as always, I'll wait until Rectangular releases the news. So make sure you go and check out Rectangular's YouTube channel and his Instagram because that is where I'm reading this from right now. So without further ado, this is a breakdown of the next X-Men Vintage Wave. First we have X-Factor Cyclops, Silver Samurai, Dazzler, another Wolverine, and these two have just been announced. It is Iceman and Storm, but we don't know what outfit of Storm we're getting. Fingers crossed it's the white one, as I think Dwight did do a tease at San Diego Comic-Con. It was going to be white or silver. We've already had a black outfit. We've already had the punk storm. So please give us the animated stylish version. I know it's not based on the animated show, but 
it's heavily featured. You know what I'm talking about. I want a white storm is what I'm saying. So fingers crossed it's that. So that is your rundown of the uh, X-Men vintage wave. The next wave is being dubbed the X-Force wave. And we already knew quite a lot of these figures for a while now. It's the Windigo Builder figure. We're getting um, Guardian. We're also getting Nightcrawler, Mr. Sinister, Boom Boom, Cannonball, and the figure that's just been announced, which I'm sort of the reason it's being called the X-Force wave, is X-Force Wolverine. So another Wolverine. We're going to have Wolverines of every kind uh, for our X-Men display. So yeah, got that from, uh, from Rectangular. They are the next X-Men wave. So there's two more full X-Men waves to come out this year. Let me know what you're excited to get in the comments below. So I'm going to disappear as I've got some new legends to review, but you let me know in the comments below what X-Men figures do we still need for our shelves? Are we, we're getting spoiled right now. As I keep saying, it's the golden age of Marvel Legends. But uh, as always, hit that subscribe button. Plenty of reviews to come. I'm going to go and watch Avengers Endgame again. I'll see you on the next one.